Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me. Today we're going to be looking at another Kickstarter project. Uh, this one a little bit different than what we normally do. This is called Sprig Inspire Play brings Sprig's bioplastic toys back to the USA. Sustainable vehicle toys made in Colorado from sugarcane and corn cob bioplastic with help from U.S. farmers, scientists, and factories. Okay, so this one is, uh, let's actually just talk about the money part first. Um, they have a $35,000 goal. They've only raised 12,000, 12,500, 94 backers, only nine days to go. So it looks like it's going to be uh, tough to get to the goal here. And this is an all or nothing, which means that uh, it might not happen. Um, and let's look at it and talk a little bit about why, I think. Um, first of all, they're making uh, toys out of bioplastic. And these are sort of toy trucks and whatnot. Uh, and sort of typical, f f uh, I guess, whatever, construct Tonka type construction equipment type things. Um, and especially when you watch the video, let's just cut to the video. Um, I think you can see why it's kind of like, like they're trying too hard, I guess. Let's see what, what you think. You are from the last generation of kids to play outside from dawn till dusk. Your play was pure. Battery free, imagination driven. Our heroes were real, our scraped knees taught us lessons, and our neighborhoods were our playgrounds. Okay, so um, this is a typical kind of generational bullshit kind of thing, no offense. Um, you know, okay, so who is the you are the last generation? So there's my generation, I'm, you know, uh, I grew up in the 70s, so I think people who grew up in the 80s and the 90s were pretty much still, you know, I'm not the last generation, put it that way. Uh, and then with kids nowadays, yeah, they have iPads and whatnot, but back in the day we had, you know, Ataris and all that stuff too. So um, to, to imply that technology is somehow ruining kids' imaginations and their ability to play outside is kind of, I don't want to say it's like, I guess it's it's just a little bit over romanticizing or or trying to get some retro appeal that um f frankly I find kind of bullshit. Life today is busy. It's filled with gizmos and gadgets, bells and whistles, gizmos ensuring and our gadgets. kids have the best of what's next to throw. Okay, so toys aside, yeah, don't have your kid look straight at the phone. Um as a, as a parent myself, I definitely wouldn't do that for my kid. Um you know, if I can help it. But then again, uh, what are you going to do? Like lock him away and never let him look at a phone until he's 18 and suddenly is a Luddite? I don't think so. But is it what's really needed to thrive? So many of these gadgets and gizmos end up in landfills, pollute our oceans, and disable young imaginations from growing. Oh, no. Yeah, young imaginations don't grow because of, because of phones. This is not the same world we grew up playing in. But yeah, it is actually, ours to actually, save, and we owe it to this next generation. Okay, the, the the world I grew up in, we wore shoes. Generation <laughs> to do something about it. Now is the time for us to be the heroes. Okay, and this is where the sort of disconnect comes in. So now they're finally talking about their products, and no offense, like I like you know the simple design aesthetic, but this looks like a Mr. Hankey put on a flight cap. Together, we can be the defenders of play and bring our children back. So in other words, like, is this thing really unlocking my imagination? Is this is this a uh, night and day difference than the imagination-destroying smartphone? I don't think so. To a time when toys enhanced their imaginations and connected them back to nature. <laughs> okay, when have toys ever connected you back to nature? I'm so, so this is exactly the point. I could go on and on and like make fun of every single line in this but um you know the point is like they're just really scraping hard to try to i don't know make you feel guilty about having battery powered toys and yet the alternative they present is you know three piles of poo two of which have hats on i mean i don't know this is i guess i can imagine a face on here or i can grab a magic marker and draw one on but um yeah, I don't think that's, you know, unlocking anything that uh, I couldn't unlock with the G.I. Joe figure that actually had um, 
you know, clothes and, and a face and, and stuff. In this plugged-in world, we offer your kids an imaginative escape. Our vehicles and characters are uniquely designed with simple features that allow your child to tell their story. Our adventure guides become who your child wants them to be at that time. Boy or girl, happy or sad. The adventure is theirs to make, the characters are theirs to change. There are no batteries to replace as kid power is in abundance. Welcome to a form of play that will enhance your child's imagination, not stifle it. Our Colorado does- Okay, quick note. Where does this boat go? So, so. That will enhance your child's it's imagination. like going down the river. Not stifle it. That's why the kid's throwing shit at it, because um, literally, he's never going to get it back. <laughs> it's going to be out to sea soon. Our Colorado designed and produced toys are made from... A okay, and then again, like just hitting you overhead with all these kind of sales talk BS stuff like, oh, it's... It's a Colorado factory, so there I'll, therefore I'll buy it because it's not made in China. Materials grown on the farm. And, oh, it, by the way, it's made from bioplastic. Um, and so this one actually, uh, let me talk a little bit about bioplastic um, somewhat seriously. So I guess it's made from, literally they say here, like sugarcane and corn cobs and other kinds of bio items uh, that are formed into plastics. And they go into some detail here, you know, made from plants. So it's not an oil-based plastic. It's actually made from, I guess, the oil that you extract from these uh, bio materials and made in the USA, made in Colorado and stuff like that. So uh, let's find where they mention it here further down. Um, you know, so this nice uh, stock photo, Grandpa has passed on a clean world to his son made from his corn cobs. Um, you know, it's literally like this... This is very telling. Like these three are clearly stock photos of people doing stuff that makes you feel good or something. Um, you know, oh, so it's farmers, scientists, engineers, teachers, and parents working together. Okay, so I don't think the farmer really contributed much to this. He just sold you some some corn cobs. Um, and uh, yeah, let, let, where's the bioplastic stuff? So they talk about how it's 95% bio-based materials. And uh, it's actually sprig wood is what they call the material. So made from sugar cane and corn cobs. And actually, apparently, the sugar cane comes from Brazil. So, you know, what? They don't make sugar cane in America, I guess. Um, you know, they, I'm sure there's plenty from Hawaii or, or somewhere in the south that they could have bought. Or try maybe more corn and less sugar. Uh, so you're not importing foreign sugar cane. Uh, so it's moving away from oil-based plastics. That's great. And they, they do mention here about how much carbon is being captured in Brazil, not in America. Um, and it uses less water. That's great too. And okay, a metric ton of sugar cane based polymer captures two point something megaton, metric tons of CO2, I guess. Um, and we're reducing bio waste i guess upcycling now we're getting really into all the fancy terms um and apparently it smells like corn um if you lick it i don't know or just smell it um so blending corn cobs allows us to reduce the overall use of bioplastic so what that sounds like is is it actually the bioplastics entirely made out of the sugar cane and they're just kind of putting in it's like meatloaf where you put in some some filler uh so that you get more volume <laughs> uh with less meat um plant plants before plastics but play is most important so i i think one thing that i tried to detect in here and i couldn't find it is this is not actually like biodegradable plastic um so they have some picture in the, in the video of all the garbage you know the where is it like the 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 giant, um, you know, sea of, of plastic in the ocean and all that kind of stuff that this thing is creating uh, or that is supposed to be saving us from. But in reality, um, you know, this thing is not biodegradable. So where does that plastic go afterwards? Uh, at least they don't tout that it's biodegradable. So I don't um, really believe in this thing um, that it's really solving that much. Okay, it's, it's better to, yeah, so here we go. Like, I guess battery waste is avoided by not using batteries, but, you know, 
Okay, that's true, I suppose. And uh, 8 million metric tons of garbage end up in the oceans every year. Not one piece of garbage will be saved by making the garbage out of biomaterials instead of oil. It just saves oil, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, that's just kind of throwing factoids out there uh, just for the sake of it, just to make you feel good about buying it. Um, so overall, I'm, yeah, like I like the, the goal of like, you know, simple toys and things like that. And obviously made in the USA is good, but they're really clubbing you over the head with all this cheesy stuff. Um, and so I think it kind of, it kind of overwhelms the value, uh, that they are offering by sort of, you know, being cheesy. Uh, and then again, I don't know, these things are really, it's like, I don't know, that looks like a ice cream scoop of coleslaw on top of a whatever. I don't know what this stuff is, but like these toys just don't inspire me. The trucks and stuff are, you know, pretty decent. Um, I guess they could look a little bit better, but uh, anyway, let's look at the pricing here. So they start from $25 uh, for... Uh, so so the lower ones are just to sort of support stuff. Um, $25 to get the tractor or the dump truck. $40 to get um, to get some of the bonus packs. And this stuff is also weird where, okay, they're really, again, using the kitchen sink approach here. So if you get slightly more, you spend $40 more, you get a coloring poster and 12 colored pencils and the dump truck. Um, you know, I don't, is anyone going to buy this because it comes with some coloring stuff? You know, what the hell? Like, I'd rather just pay $35 and not waste all the time with this stuff. So I don't know why they put all this stuff in there. Maybe they got them for free and they're just giving away. Anyway, that's it for today. See you guys next time on GoFundMe. Hey everyone, welcome back to